It's legendary beat. here's my name tag they've literally written sianda rights so <laughs> yeah so this is my life now it's like spotless here and it's just like really crazy and they have little taxis that are like little mo motorbikes so you get on somebody's back and he takes you someplace i think i'm gonna get on that later for sure i'm gonna ask one to just take me to the nearest funnest place that i could possibly get into and embarrass my country <laughs> They pray for blessing, pray for, blessing. for better living. I think I'm going to be next, so we'll see. Sianda, M-U. M-O-H. See already. U-T-S. U-T-S, yeah. I-W-A. 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 from Ghana, Executive Director for Gender Center for Empowering Development. I think the conference has been great. Uh, for me, my utmost aim is to see political parties having the political will to really incorporate what we discussed and agreed on here into their political parties' um, ideologies, programming, eventually they are going to form government so when they do not have the political will to start some of the things gender mainstreaming has been a problem with all the political parties in ghana i can give an example of one political party who came out to say that this year they are going to give some seat to women and later they back out of it because their party were talking about it it clearly shows that they do not have the political will and such a political party when it comes to government you have you you realize that they're going to have little difficulty in implementing issues that has to do with women gender mainstreaming so we want political parties to have political will we don't only need them to be ordinary parties we need them to build their institutions and have the political will to move the issues that has to do with the people they are governing thank you Terms. Well, you might want to seize power. There are lots of arguments that political parties are established just. So my name is uh, Humphrey Polopole. I'm a, a former chairperson of the National Council of NGOs in Tanzania, but also a former commissioner of the Presidential Constitution Review Commission of Tanzania. Um, at this conference, uh, a lot has been uh, shared and I think I had also an input that I looked at uh, 
uh, things that work for Africa and, and things that needs to be uh, remodeled a bit, they need to be uh, worked on a bit so that they, they, they are applicable in our uh, context in the African con uh, continent. And one of them is uh, the, the way we apply uh, democracy, the way we live democracy, and the way we uh, you know, do governance as a whole. In my opinion, the pure neoliberal uh, type of democracy in most of the African countries um, hasn't been 100% uh, successful. And uh, it is uh, primarily because uh, it's a copy and paste. And we've not been able to contextualize um, good things with the neoliberal democracy and how they are you know, coming together with the African uh, ways of life, traditions, culture, history, um, but also, you know, day-to-day -day realities. So my very humble um, proposition is uh, there's good stuff out there, Africa needs to learn, um, but then as we are, you know, taking them, domestication should also take into account the African realities. Just to put it short. Okay, now we're with Zizi from Zimbabwe. She's been giving like excellent um, contributions to the whole thing. She, uh, I'm gonna record another one of these things because I just fucked up. <laughs> My name is Siti. I'm a young woman from Zimbabwe, uh, a women's rights and governance expert. Digitrends has been amazing. Uh, we've heard so many great ideas from a whole lot of people from all sorts of different countries. But I think now what we need is to take those ideas, go home and begin to translate them. We also had a great opportunity to learn from the Rwandan people. And for me, what I take away is the um, border post and how people can use cards uh, to cross across the border every day without having to go through the big slips that we usually do. So I think for me that's the biggest lesson and I think if everyone across Africa could take up that system and translate it, we'll be able to travel freely across our borders and cross the border to the city that's just across the road uh, every day to do business, to share ideas, to learn from each other, to grow and to have fun because fun is also important. Is it okay there? Mm -hmm. Aren't you seeing me again behind there? Uh, my name is Amy Otim. I'm, I'm Ugandan. I work with the Christian Democratic International Center where we run a political leadership academy in Uganda, Kenya and Tanzania, uh, training young women and men uh, to be productive young uh, members of their political parties. Uh, it has been very interesting being at the DigiTrends youth event here in Kigali uh, because the, the conference has been a very good eye-opener for a lot of young people that are trying to showcase the initiatives they are running in terms of helping other young people to participate. But also what I want people to take out is that uh, women are very, a very important asset in, polit in the political process. They bring a lot of skills, multitasking, but also they bring the empathy. And uh, a lot of times when they are contributing to policy formulation, they think about the nation. They just don't think about themselves. So I'm encouraging everyone who is here to go and help and support women. And the women who are in positions, please support those that need to rise in the ranks to be able to be part of the political process. So Tessa Jones from Youth Lab in South Africa. Um, the pre-youth forum for the high-level dialogue this year was really good. We focused on really thinking about what keeps young people out of the political realm and out of power and what keeps young women particularly disempowered. But what we came out with strongly is that young people want a seat at the table. They don't just want to play in the field, in the yard. And we must demand that our, that our views are taken seriously and that as young politicians, we're not just looking at youth issues, but at all of society's issues because the youth is society in Africa. Thank you.